Okay. So see Tom at the end. Um, I just want to introduce a couple people and then I'm going to turn the mic over. Some really key players here are Rocco Terranova from the Sheet Metal Workers, uh, Harry Odie from Local 134. Uh, I want to thank Chris Pena for hosting this meeting today. Where are you, Chris? All right, there you go. Uh, Mr. Ma, who's the Vice President of CRRC, who chose our award to build these cars. I think that's, that says a lot. We got a lot. One of the things that I always make clear to people that have never been down here, we have some of the best, the brightest, and hardworking people in this whole damn state. And, and I know that because I see with my own eyes every day, for, and I've seen it for 57 years. So kudos to everyone. Um, Keith Evans, who is head of human resource for CRRC, is going to do a presentation. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out, and I'm going to turn the mic over to Keith. Um, better? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to make sure that there's a question and answer here for you guys. Fire with your questions, I will do my best to answer them. As Mr. Garza said, we've got Tom Boyd here from uh, Cabinet Area Justice Commission. They have a pre apprentice program. He is connected with a lot of companies in this Cabinet Industrial Area that are looking for people right now. As she stated, we're in the process of finishing our plan, so it's going to be about 18 months before we actually have the plant completely finished and ready to start hiring people. Once we start hiring, it's roughly about a 10-year project just for the CTA. And I'll get into some other things we have going on, but just for the CTA, for the passenger cars, it's about a 10-year project. So it's not like we're just coming here one and done. We're coming to be a part of the community. And for myself, growing up in this area, one of the things that I made very clear when I interviewed was, we need to make sure that we're looking to hire people from the community and that we're part of the community. If we're not, then I'm not the right person for you. And thank you, they felt that was the right person. And that's why they pushed me up here to talk to you. Well, can I say one thing? I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's really important that if you haven't signed in, sign in. Because the people that are here, I'm going to be sending out updates on what's happening, but I also send out other job opportunities as well. So please make sure if you haven't signed in, make sure you put your name on the list, okay? Thanks, I'm sorry. Uh, again, we'd like to thank Alderman Garza for setting this up and also encouraging us to put this in the 10th Ward. She's been a big help to us as far as getting this project off the ground, working with us tirelessly to make sure everything runs smooth so that we can meet our deadline. So we're very just thank you, Alderman Garza. Vice President of Human Resources. He's also uh, one of the key figures that was part of the decision making process to bring the plant here. This is going to be for our company, which our parent company is in Xinjiang, China. This is going to be our North American entity. So we're looking to start here, and as we expand in growth, move everything out. Uh, we have Rocco here from Local 73 Smart. We've got Harry from 134. We have Tom Boyd here from TAIC. We have Trina Wadley, who is here from Chicago Public Workforce Partnership. Uh, she works with the Clark Winkle and the County Board, as far as also the point of opportunity here. So, another individual that you can talk to about jobs. Uh, we've got Richard Wallace, who is also here from Johnson America. He's a great new partner of ours. They work in development training programs, the initiatives that we've got, to begin the commitment to hire locally. Uh, we've got Dave Smolinski and Laura Whaley who are here for Resolute. They are our community outreach group that are working with us. Uh, we've also got some freshness and cookies and some soft drinks and water here from Steve Lounge. Again, we could have got this group anywhere. Again, we're committed to the community and making sure that we are working with you guys to bring good jobs back to the south side. 
And again, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, it's important to me as the HR manager to know that you guys are into the job that we have here, and that you're looking to be a part of what we expect to be uh, a very auspicious and encouraging opportunity for you guys to come back and get some very good jobs that can help you take care of some of your family, but also can have a quality product, not only here in Chicago, but hopefully throughout the rest of the world. With that, we'll go ahead and get started. What I'll be talking about first is the overview, and then we'll also be dealing with uh, a hiring plan, a production update, and then lastly, we'll be talking about questions and answers. So with that, we'll get started uh, with the overview. I want to tell you exactly who we are. Okay. Our parent company is a company called CRRC, Seafoam Company Limited. Our headquarters is in Qingdao, China. There are roughly about 42 subsidiaries, maybe a few more, maybe a few less. And under those subsidiaries, there are about another 80. And under those 80, there is another 100 or so. We are the number one manufacturer of rail cars, high-speed electric and passenger in the country. This is a commitment that they have made to be a part of the U.S. We have this as our North American hub. So the first goal for us is to make sure that we get the process down, the quality is good, we're making our deadlines, and then as we continue to pick up more and more contracts, we have locations across the world. Again, our headquarters, Beijing, China, CRC, has facilities across the globe. We build and maintain rail cars and locomotives for over 100 years. We produce more than 30,000 rail cars across the country and the world. So we have projects in Venezuela, we have projects in London, we have projects in Germany, we have projects all across the world. And the U.S. is the final place to work to try and get you to be a part. In 2016, the CTA awarded us the contract to build the new 7,000 series passenger cars. Now these are going to be stainless steel cars that we're building. We announced in 2016 that this would be our North American headquarters. We broke ground on the new facility here in the 10th Ward. And again, we're committed to Chicago's neighborhood and local companies to direct investment in job creation. So some of you may have seen the groundbreaking ceremony that went on. Uh, it was in February, right around February, March of this year. And since then, we've torn down the old building and put up our new one. By the way, that's me with the shovel on the left. <laughs> <laughs> Now, here is the construction update, and this will give you an idea of where we're at with regards to the construction. We'll also have some pictures about what's going on with regards to the construction, and you can kind of see where we're at and what's going on. So it is going to be at 135-35 South Torrance, right here across the street. It's currently under construction. It's going to be roughly almost a 40, 400,000 square foot facility. The new facility will also be used to assemble the new CTA rail car. So kind of, to kind of explain our process right now to make sure that we're meeting quality specifications and on-time delivery, the carbides and shells are going to be shipped over here from China, and the cars will be assembled and put together in here. Once we're confirmed and we're sure that we have the process down, and there are no problems, the hope is that we will then expand on our property that we have and start doing design and fabrication here as well. But that's probably going to be two to three, maybe four years out, we know that we've got everything down pat, and we're making our deadline. Construction of the new manufacturing facility is on schedule. The outer shell, which you probably have seen, is complete. The focus of construction now is moving to the interior. So this is the old building that was there, that's been torn down. This is our new building, this is the outer shell. And this resembles uh, the plant at our parent company in Qingdao. I just got back. I was there for about three weeks of training in, in October. I left in the first part of October. Got back right before Halloween. So this is the interior view. So as you see, we've got the outer shell, and we're in the process now of laying the concrete. Once the concrete's laid, then we'll start putting together the offices. We'll finish doing the wiring. 
everything else is going to take place. So it's going to be roughly until we get that portion done, probably sometime in 2018, early 2019, once we've done it. Fall of 2018, construction of the facility is complete. Winter of 2018, installation of manufacturing equipment to begin. So once the inside is completely done, then we'll start the installation of the heavy equipment that we're going to have. Then after that, the equipment is truly installed and in spring of 2019 is ready for operation. Hiring update. So we'll go over the schedule. Again, our commitment to local hiring. Manufacturing and production positions, current opportunities, and then the next steps in the process. The hiring schedule. Construction of the new facility needs to be complete, so we can't do any hiring until the entire building is complete and finished. Training program is currently being developed, so I'm working very closely with Rocco, with Harry, with Richard, with Tom, with Trina, and a bunch of other organizations to develop a specific training program for us, for CRRC. Once that's done, then we'll begin the hiring, we'll start the training of individuals, bringing people on board, we're going to probably do it in stages. So that first group, wherever you guys are, you're lucky enough to be the first group, you're going to be my guinea pigs. <laughs> so please understand, once you go through training, I'm going to come out on the floor and I'm going to ask you, what did you get in training that you didn't need? What did you get in training that you need? So that I can tweak it, I can work with our training manager, and we can tweak it and make it the best training possible. So we're always going to want input from our employees, Always going to want to know what's going on before to make sure that we're giving you what you need so that you can be successful in your job. Fall of 2018, the initial group will be hired. Now, these are going to be roughly about 20 experienced journeymen that we're going to pull from both SMART and IDW. These 20 will be hired. They'll get some initial training here, and we'll go over a little later. They're going to be sent to China for training. And they're going to work beside their colleagues in China that are building passenger cars that are going to be going all over the world. The balance of the manufacturing position higher when the rail car production begins. Production will begin after the initial prototypes are built. So we have a commitment with the CTA, we're going to build 10 prototypes. Those prototypes, once they're built, are going to run on the CTA blue line for a year. We're going to be addressing any concerns, any technical issues, any problems that they have during that one year period until the CTA signs off on the car. Once they sign off on the car, that's when I'm going to look to bring on a whole bunch of you guys. So you being ready, preparing yourself for these jobs is going to be key. Because I've got to have qualified people that can come in and do these jobs. I'm going to be hiring approximately 140 manufacturing positions, assemblers, electricians, sheet metal workers, welders, Warehouse people, procurement specialists. We're going to be hiring a lot of different positions that are going to be on the plant floor. Forklift operators. We're going to be hiring a lot of different types of positions. The big key, which I'm very proud of, is we're not looking for people to have all of the experience. We're, if you're willing to learn, we're willing to train. So again, all manufacturing positions are going to be part of IBEW 134 or Smart Local 73. CRRC and the unions have made a commitment to hire from the community surrounding the facility. So that's a promise that we've made to you guys and we're working very closely with the union to make sure that happens. IBEW and smart representatives visited CRRC Chicago about 30 and came down Sunday in October. So when I was over, Rockwell and Harry, Dave and a few others went over with us. And the first thing we did was we sat down and talked about the process. How do we go about building cars in China? What are the job duties and responsibilities? We went out on the floor and actually watched them putting the car together. Because our goal is we want to bring that process back over here. Because we've got great quality, we've got great process, but we want to bring it over here. Now we also understand that there are some requirements from the regulation standpoint, that the U.S. says you have to do things this way, whereas in China we don't. That's the part that I work with the trainers with Rocco to make sure that we bring everything over what things that need to be changed, they're changed appropriately. The main thing is we want to have quality, we want to have safety. I, I need to, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you need to clarify, and I'm sorry, if, if you guys heard it the way I heard it, you said you have to be a member of 134, a member of Local 73. 
And I think you need to make it clear is the first 20 people hired are going to be 10 from 134, 10 from 73. But after that, you don't have to be a current, a current member of those locals to get in this facility. You will join after. So and, and you need to make that clear because how many of you guys are already a member of local 73 or 134? Anybody here? Okay, so I see four hands. That's not the case. So I just, Robert, go ahead. That's basically, we're going to get your names and stuff that you got here, and if you if you wanted the job, that's fine. You don't have to belong in any union or be in another union. That's up to you. And then what happens once you do get hired, we'll you'll be joining the appropriate unions. Right. So you don't have to be in our unions to get that for the production part of it. Right. Like Susan said, I know she's very passionate about it. She wants to make sure that everybody understands it. Well, that is good. No, and I appreciate that. So I apologize if I wasn't clear. You do not have to be a part of the union for the initial, after the initial point. Okay? We're going to hire you, we're going to train you, and then you will become a part of whatever respective union that job falls There we go, there we go. <laughs> When they were over, they really took a lot of notes and asked a lot of very good questions about the process in China. Um, and it's again the commitment that they have to making sure that this is going to be a good and viable job for you guys once you come on over. Current opportunities, you can go to CRC job posting, go to www.nextstopchicago.com slash job. That is all of the jobs we have right now. I can tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for manufacturing engineers, maybe like the electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer. I'm looking for an administrative assistant. You speak Mandarin? <laughs> oh. I'm looking for an executive assistant. You speak Mandarin? You didn't? You can learn. You can learn. But those, and I'm also looking for a receptionist. Don't need to speak Mandarin. What <laughs> Okay. So those are the positions right now that are the biggest need for me, and these are more office type positions that we have right now. Uh, once we bring on the, the journeymen that are going to be going to China, I'll also be looking to hire a training coordinator. I need someone that's expensive. My preference is because they'll be working with our colleagues across and over the training coordinator. Uh, we're also going to be looking to hire someone, a payroll and benefits plan. So a lot of the positions are going to be back off, and I need someone with that type of position. So as more positions become available, they'll be posted there. We also have a LinkedIn page. So if you're not on LinkedIn, please join LinkedIn. Visit our page, CRRC, Sweet Home America. If you follow us, anytime something happens, you'll get an email notifying you when one goes on. So you've got two ways to know what's going on. The Next Stop Chicago website, and getting their email, and getting their uh, uh, newsletter that comes out, as well as our uh, LinkedIn page. We're in the process of working on getting a, uh, a, per, a corporate web page, but right now we're using our LinkedIn page. Okay. Found the voices here from the area industrial community. As we said, for us, it's going to be about 18 months before we're able to really start doing the math time with the extra 140 that we're looking to bring on here. If you're looking for something immediate right now, Tom is the person to see. They have a pre apprentice program that they can put you through, prepare you, and then work with you for any companies in the area that are looking for you. It's a very good program. They have money to help uh, pay for the training. They do a lot of other things. Thank you. Yeah, it's really great to see everyone here tonight. It's uh, really an uh, awesome uh, turnout. So, um, a lot of companies really need the help. You know, they really need people that are going to go into manufacturing or have some manufacturing experience. And there's another company coming coming in. Uh, we're going to start hiring more this office for uh, mainly um, plastic injection molding operators and, and related uh, occupations. And again, you don't need to have experience as a plastic injection molding operator, but it's helpful if you have some prior manufacturing experience or if you want to go through some training, uh, we can help you, uh, you know, prior to that. And so they're going to be adding people every month through next fall. So they're going to have a total of a little over 320 people 
uh, in the Ford supplier part. Uh, they, they got a contract, you know, to supply Ford. Uh, one of the other companies is, is going to be out, uh, and they're in. <laughs> but it seems like they're going to have a net, you know, increase in the total number of, jo of jobs. So uh, that, that company's called Flex and Game. And uh, Su Susan was also at the uh, uh, open, opening the uh, ribs cutting uh, for, for that. So, so that's just one example, the, probably the biggest example I know of another company coming in. And so as more and more people become uh, trained and begin to, to work, we'll have the opportunity, I think, to, to attract more companies to come in. And they're all looking for a, a good workforce. That's really our key economic advantage. Okay, so if you, if you want to uh, contact us at the Alumet Area Industrial Commission, uh, the number is 773-928-6000. Uh, Thank you. Sure This is a wonderful opportunity. I don't want to take away from, from this. Uh, Keith, Keith is going to need a lot of good people, and so I'm uh, looking forward to, to working together on it. Okay, uh, one other thing that I want to be clear about. Currently, right now, we are in temporary office space until the plant is finished. We are working right now out of Oak Brook, Illinois. Okay, so any of the jobs we have posted, if you're interested, we're going to be in Oak Brook until sometime next year until we move out of the I just want to make sure everybody understands that as far as it's just a temporary office right now in Oak Brook. And then in 2018, we'll be moving into the plant once it's fully open and operational. Again, nextstopchicago.com. Stay connected. Uh, Next Stop Chicago e-newsletter. Sign up either online at nextstopchicago.com slash contact hyphen us. Or you can send an email to info at nextstopchicago.com. Okay, for the question and answers, if you know, Tom will come back up, and if Richard, Rocco, Harry, if you guys can come up just in case you have questions that I can't answer, uh, I will make sure you pass it off to the right person. Okay, who's got a question? Okay, yes sir. I think they're still in the process of, of setting that uh, 